Welcome back to another episode of How to Troubleshoot. My name is Ken Baker from Green Pro Solutions and today we're going to be talking about how to bleed the injectors on this diesel engine. Uh, if you have a diesel engine, one of the, as you may know, one of the issues is if you get any air in the, in the, in the system or the gas line, uh, diesel and air don't work well on the injectors. So uh, one of the things we're finding with this um, diesel engine in the spray unit is that if you have less than a quarter tank of fuel, diesel fuel in your gas tank, there's a high probability of you know, parking on a hill, an incline, or just sloshing around um, when the engine is, uh, uh, the pump is working and it's pumping fuel, and if there's any air, it will put air into your system the next time you go to start it, it may not. So what, you, so what I'm going to do is talk very briefly about how to troubleshoot this and how to uh, bleed the valves quickly to get the air out of the line so it will, it will start. So um, first thing you're going to probably need is uh, tools like this. This is a, a ratchet, quarter inch, has a swivel head, it has an extension, and then what they call a crow's foot. Uh, you'll find that you're going to be needing this type of tool for these injector bolts because it's, they're very in there in a very awkward position. Now, what you, first thing you want to do here is you want to find out, first of all, you're getting fuel to the engine. Is What you need to do is turn the key on. And if you hear, this is the fuel pump and it's clicking. And that's telling you the fuel pump is powered and it's working. Next you want to do is, um, there's an input and output here. This is the input to the engine from your filter. You want to loosen this up as best as you can. <coughs> see, see how it's squirting fuel? Now that you're getting the air out when you do that. You screw that back on. And then you want to come over here and do the same thing to this side. Until you see fuel come out. The fuel is dripping out, there's no bubbling, there's no hissing, so you're good to go there too. So you want to uh, tighten that up. So now we know the fuel is getting into your system and you're good to go. Um, now you can hear the pump, it's still, it's still pumping, so the fuel is getting up to this point and now coming back out. And the next thing you want to do is there's fuel injectors on here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now after you do that, you want to um, turn the key in on position, untighten using your tool the bolt on the injector, let it sit there a little bit, and then you try to turn your key, and you'll see fuel. See the fuel come out? and then it'll spit and hiss and spit and hiss. So you do that, you don't want to really leave your engine running, you just want to try to start it. Once that happens, you want to bleed that one, tighten that bolt back down, really good. Take the same one here, loosen it until it's very loose, turn the key and do the same thing. It'll spit and spurt, and then you may want to do this one. Now you may get to the third one, and the engine will start right up. And the reason it did start, because it's already been bled. So you may not have to do all six of them, but you keep going down the road, starting with this one, all the way down to this one here. And then if it still doesn't, then you end up having to bleed these again. So that is a basic process of how to uh, bleed your system. Now, one other thing about troubleshooting part of this is, there's a, um, a, a, a nine second countdown. If you can see here in the digital, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Basically, anybody with a diesel engine knows that there's a glow plug. And if the temperature is anywhere below 60 degrees, that also can inhibit the starting of the engine. So you want to make sure this is set, and that's all part of the manual uh, when you go to use it in the fall. In the summertime, you shouldn't have any idea, uh, any problem with that, having the glow plug. So my name is Ken Baker. Thank you for joining us for an episode of How to Troubleshoot, and look forward to meeting you next time.